What's up, guys, and welcome back to the life of Kevin. And before we start with today's episode, we have something to deal with, because the stripper is hanging out in front of our house in the middle of the night. I don't understand. He was calling Emma last episode asking to hang out. He's been talking to all of the girls, even though they're married or taken or... And we set him up with candy, but for some reason he's hanging out here. Kevin, can we can we ask him to leave? Can we? Yeah, we can ask him to leave. Actually, I know what we should do first. Yeah, you're going to have to get off my property. I know it's the middle of the night, but I am a knight, and I don't want you hanging around my wife. So if you come back, we're going to joust to the death. You're probably going to die. I'm a doctor, but I won't save you. We're going to have to keep an eye out for that guy, Kevin. I don't know if I really trust him with you at work all the time and stuff like that. Probably going to have to tell Tommy. Actually, I don't know why I say that. The girls can take care of themselves. It's more so I don't want him hanging around the house. He's, he's weird. He's up to something. I don't really know what it is. But yeah, today's episode, we are going to be doing more stuff with the doctor's career. Because I had a lot of fun last episode. I didn't realize that it would be such a fleshed out career. There was so much stuff that we could do. So, Kevin is now a medical assistant. He got another promotion in between episodes. Because I didn't want to do the same things every day. Every day I go to work, I want there to be something new for us to do. And I think we're going to have access to new equipment and stuff like that. So, once Sir Kevin is done tonight, Lisa. Nurse Kevin will wake up tomorrow morning and go to work. Whoa! Emma! My family just has moves. I don't know where they keep breaking this out from. That was awesome. I wonder if Kevin has any new moves. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, we haven't been practicing or anything like that. He seems to have the usual, like, hip swagger. You can see that he's probably got his lips puckered like he normally does when he dances. But other than that... Oh, I don't know. Maybe he's just got his movement restricted. Everybody else seems to have these awesome, like, pop it and lock it moves, and Kevin, Kevin's just kind of humping everything in his night suit. Very weird. Whoa, 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 Kevin. Kevin, what are you doing? <laughs> are you kidding me right now? That was awesome. Uh -huh. Did you see that? That was a perfect robot. He's wearing the great costume for it. Oh, man. I didn't even catch all of that, I don't think. I have to do another dancing episode soon. That was amazing. Okay, you know what, Kevin? You dance your way through the night. We're going to work in the morning. Another day at Mustard Hospital. Okay, Kevin, you're wearing the same clothes, so I guess you didn't get anything with your promotion. We need to check a patient's ears. We need to make a bed. We need to swab a patient for a sample. Okay, we've already done all that stuff before. This Man, there's so many kids here, and it's always the same kids. We're in the same pajamas. Okay, so somebody mentioned what the blue hearts mean, and I don't remember anymore. Okay, check a patient's ears. We can do that. Who would have ever thought that Kevin would enjoy being a doctor? He was a professional athlete. He was a number of other things over the course of 50-some-odd episodes. I can't list them all off, let's be honest. But a doctor, I never thought it would happen. So what does she got, Kevin? What are we dealing with here? What does it say? What? Um, inconclusive? That's not good. So is is this little girl gonna die? Oh, she's got she's got starry eye. I can, even I can see that. Refer for x-ray scan. We technically know what it is, but I want to do an x-ray. Oh no, she doesn't. Her rashes are different. Okay, well, we're gonna x-ray you for a rash, because that makes sense. And where, where are you going, Kevin? I've never done an x-ray. I've never even seen an x-ray in this game, so I have no idea what is about to happen. Ooh, this is fancy. Oh. Look at that. That is really cool. Can we buy one of these? I feel like Kevin could open an entire, like, facility in his house at some point. Like, we'll earn all of this stuff. Okay, don't be afraid. We're just going to beam you up. No big deal. It's also showing an adult readout, even though you're, like, three feet tall. We're scanning her. There we go. All right. Ooh. Don't move. Don't move even a little bit. It could completely destroy you at an atomic level. She's not looking good at all. Come on, Kevin, do it quicker. Okay, just just gotta analyze it right quick. Just slide some things over. We're gonna take another one because you know, selfie, Facebook, Instagram, that shit. Oh no, Kevin, Kevin, what, what are you crying about? That's not good. Why are you embarrassed? What? The x-ray of Elsa is complete, but embarrassingly, Kevin cannot make any sense of the results. What? Why is this a thing? Okay. Can we just give her medicine? Can we just... We can't treat her. That's just great. So Kevin's just decided, you know what? I'll, uh, I'll go talk to a kid. Oh, no, we're going to admit him to a bed. He, he already had a bed. Oh, we're kicking this guy out of his bed and giving it to her. 
I think the rest of the people working here are rubbing off on Kevin. So we're gonna give you some medication for the gas and giggles. Kevin's work day ends in an hour. Shit, we need to stay for longer. Stay late. Okay, so patient is cured. We have a bunch of kids left. Is there anybody else waiting that could, oh no. The president. The president is sick, Kevin. We need to save him. Okay, this is gonna be worth a favor for sure. Let's bring him to an examining room. I love it. He's like, Mr. President, come with me. All these people in front of you in line. Yeah, they can sit there and die. It doesn't really matter. You, however, need a, need a bed. You need to lie down. We need to take a look at you. We're going to get you fixed up in about two hours and 27 minutes because that's all I got. Whoa, watch the gown there, Mr. President. We don't want to see the uh, national treasures. Okay, we're going to get to the bottom of this, Mr. President. Don't worry about it. Just breathe. Keep breathing. I don't know why I'm telling you that. You would breathe anyway. Uh, performed probably uh, doesn't. Okay, that's not helping at all. Let's uh, let's check his ears. Is there anything in your head, Mr. President? Well, I'm not gonna make any comments on that. Give us a little bit of spit. There we go. Okay, and then I think we can also check your eyes. Is that is that gonna help at all? You, you can do it. Oh God, he's gonna throw up here. That's not good. Okay, we're getting a lot of stuff done that we need to get done though. Kevin needs to make a bed. Okay, go make a bed real quick, Kevin, and then. I don't know what else we can do with the president. We can't We can't fix him, we can take his temperature. Is that another thing? Take temperature. I have a feeling if we don't get everything done, then, oh, never mind. Somebody's actually doing their job, I can't believe it. What are you getting upset? Oh, she's getting upset at the garbage. I'm sorry, I've been doing your job the entire day. Oh, good, the president, he's ready to be, um, treated. Inoculate for the sweaty shivers. Sure, that sounds right. Don't worry, Mr. President. We are all over this. All better. Just just that easy. Now you owe Kevin a favor, and he is going to call that in someday. I don't know when. I don't know how, but being owed a favor by the president. That's pretty sweet, Kevin. Now let's clean up that garbage. Kevin apparently knows how to calibrate an x-ray machine. I have no idea how this is the case. Okay, we need to do one more thing. Crap, crap, crap. How much time we got left? 19 minutes. We have 19 minutes to bring somebody food. That's probably the easiest thing, right? Deliver food. Oh, every one of these days is right down to the wire. Shit, 17, 16. Come on, Kevin, give this girl food. It's not that difficult. We don't even need to prepare it. You keep food in your pants for some reason. Little girl, I have to leave for work in about 10 minutes, but I got some pocket food for you. Kevin, give her the pocket food. Why are you standing there? Give her the damn pocket food. Six, five, four, three. Here's some pocket food. Two, one. Oh my God, he never gets it in time. The food was in her hands. I call shenanigans and no promotion. Oh, I don't want to go back to work and do the exact same thing over again. Okay, you know what? You know what we're gonna do, Kevin? We, we like I said, we, we have favors. Where's, where's Barack? I got an idea. Mr. President, I know you owe me a favor. Now this is not gonna count as an entire favor. This is only a very small favor. I need a promotion or two. Two promotions? Yeah, that'd go great. Just call the hospital, tell them that, tell them that, what the hell? Wait, if you're over here, who am I talking to on the phone? I'm gonna guess being the president means he probably has like some kind of, whoa, whoa. Oh, hey, Tommy. Um. Dad's talking to the president about important things. Can you go back in the house? I don't know what's going on, but either way, now that we have him in person, I'd like to get a promotion or two. You know, if you could just call the hospital, let them know that I'm gonna be coming in tomorrow at say, level five, so that we don't have to do the same thing all over again for the next three or four days at work. That'd be great. I mean, in all reality, who's gonna know? We already do all the work anyway. Apparently that's all it takes. A few phone calls and just like that, Kevin has been promoted to, I don't even know. What are you now, Kevin? An assistant nurse. Pretty good. You're gonna show that nurse tomorrow at work when you show up wearing her outfit. I like that he keeps the green and the gray, but he gets gloves. Why wouldn't they care enough to give him gloves originally? Even if you're an intern, you should probably be wearing gloves around people with infectious diseases. Goes to show the hospital really doesn't care about the lower end people. Terrible place. Whoa, whoa, Kevin, are you okay? You doing all right, buddy? This is what I was talking about. They don't have you wear gloves, and all of a sudden, you get an infectious disease. Who could have guessed? Shit, man, what do you have? 
I should know this by now. Okay, um, well, we still need to go to work tomorrow, so we better cure you of this now. I believe people said that we could go on a computer, right? And Jesus, camera, will you work with me here? And we can order, order something. No, play game, more choices. Come on, order. We want to order a voodoo doll? What the hell? Upgrade parts medicine. Yes, one large dose of potent pancreas uh, to cure even the severest of sicknesses. Sure. Oh, dude, you were looking worse. Okay, we need to we need to use it. I think you order it and then it shows up in your inventory. Kevin, you have a lot of crap in your inventory. You have rocks and and other junk. Why? Okay, don't don't. Hug your son with a disease. Did that do anything? Okay, there we go. Why do doctors even exist if you can just cure any disease by making a simple order online? You know what? You don't question these things. Okay, Kevin doesn't need to go to work today. It's Monday, right? Okay, so we need to go to work tomorrow, but we're healthy again. Whew. So in the meantime, Kevin is going to box as a thief. I'm not even gonna ask. All right, Kevin, your official first day as a nurse, and we already started off with something new. Perform a treadmill test on a patient. That sounds awesome. Who should we do a treadmill test on? Um, you look preg. You're oh, is it's kind of bad to tell a woman she looks pregnant, but she looks kind of pregnant. Maybe try. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's make a pregnant chick run. That sounds pretty uh -huh. funny. Maybe she's not. Maybe she's just a little bit pudgy. The way she was sitting made her look pregnant, but I'm not, whoa, I'm not really sure. She's definitely sick, so I don't think she's here to deliver a baby. Would I have to deliver babies at one point? That would be awesome. I can't wait for Kevin to be a doctor doctor so that he can do, like, surgeries and stuff. That's, that's all you got? Okay, no, there, there she goes, there she goes. Yeah, I don't think she's pregnant. I think she's just a little big bone. That, that's okay, though. You know what? We're gonna make her run anyway. It's good for her. So, what are you, you're just gonna, you're testing all of her stuff. Whoa, Jesus. Calm, calm yourself. We're gonna test some uh, cardiovascular abilities. We're gonna, hey, who's this asshole? Whoa, 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 did they hire a new doctor? To Mario Ryder. It's about time. Only took them a week to get somebody in here who looks like they're doing something. The results of the treadmill test on Elaine indicate a possible ailment. Continue with examinations and tests to diagnosis if not rendered. Okay, so that didn't quite get us anything except for a challenge. So we're gonna have to do a couple other tests. So she seems to be very warm, compelling diagnosis. Bloaty head or triple. We can actually diagnose people ourselves. Oh, no, I don't think she's got bloaty head. Let's, um, oh, we can't examine anymore. Oh, she needs to sit down first. Okay, so once she sits down, Kevin's gonna be right romantic and make her feel better because he's such a hunk. Now we are going to take, take her temperature because she seems a little warm. How'd that, how'd that go? Okay. And then... Run test to find diagnosis. Okay, so we got two things done there. What is this? A house call. Someone has called the hospital asking for a doctor to come to their house for help. Click on the front desk to travel to the house call. What? I had no idea this was a part of the game. That is so cool. Where are we going? I really hope it's not the goth household. Okay, we're good. This is, um, I have no idea where we are right now. We're somewhere in Windenburg in a very small home. Okay, so what seems to be the problem, guys? We got Nurse Kevin here on the job because apparently they didn't want to send a doctor. I don't know any of these people. None of them. Okay, so this guy, oh, I recognize this guy. He was in the thumbnail last episode. He's a he's a repeat offender for being sick. So we need to examine the patient. Kevin, Kevin, you're here on a house call. And you're sitting down having a glass of, where'd you get a glass of milk? Put it down, put down the glass of milk you stole and, and examine this person. Anything? Okay, temperature. He's doing it all himself. He seems to know what's up. And, and and a glass of milk. Is that a part of your analysis, Kevin? No? Give medicine. Okay, so we're we're gonna give you put the milk down. We're gonna give him some medicine. Okay, you get a stomach ache here, take a uh, flask of whiskey. Make you feel all warm inside. Better? Let me just keep drinking my milk. Looks like it worked to me. Uh -huh. Examine and give medicine. So are there more patients here? Are we, are we, oh, there's three. Okay, I was gonna say that doesn't make any sense. Examine patient, examine patient. 
Okay, so you need some medicine too? Well, fortunately, I brought more than one flask with me. <laughs> Can't get through a day of work if I'm not completely plastered. Here, here! You helped and treated all patients. Pat's on the back. You did a great job. Now it's time to go back to work. There are more patients to treat. Click on your sim and select return to the hospital to go back to work. That was really cool. That was worth half of my day. Awesome. Oh, I forgot that we left her here. She she doesn't seem to be doing well. We should probably get to her. Oh, Brock's back. Oh, uh, Kevin, we didn't do a very good job like yesterday, I guess. Diagnose a patient. Okay, can we... I don't know what she has. Maybe it's the triple threat? This is nothing I've seen before. It's definitely not bloaty head. She's not showing any symptoms. Check a patient's eyes. Can we do that with you? Check... No, that's ears. We need to check eyes. Oh, wait. She does have bloaty head. Right? The the steamy bits. The, um... Oh, shit. What did I call it last episode? Explodey, heady, um... Itis osis? Explodey, heady, um... Itis osis. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I think that's what she has. I should have recognized it earlier, Kevin. I'm sorry. I just... I wasn't paying attention. We're gonna look in her eyes anyway. And then we are gonna chat with Juan. Who is Juan? Why are we chatting with him? Oh, they heard somebody else. There's a new intern. Cool. I like that they're actually like oh. bringing new people in, Kevin. He kind of looks like you. I like him. Maybe we'll be friends. Okay, either way, we don't need to chat with Juan. We don't need to do anything more with her. We need to give her um, the bloaty head. We're going to diagnose her with bloaty head. Here we go. Yeah, that, that looks like bloaty head, Kevin. I think it's it's pretty clear. Pretty straightforward. So we're going to take a look. Do an actual doctor stuff now. I know, you got you got a severe case of explodey hediomidososis. So treat a patient's illness. So we can no 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 treat for bloaty head. If I'm getting this wrong, there's like a million people screaming at their screens right now, going, No, she has this, you're giving her the wrong thing. But we'll see. Worst case it kills her, right? I don't know her. Vaccine Elaine Denton was successful, her illness is now treated. Kevin correctly diagnosed the issue, improving job performance. Woohoo! Whoa, 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 wait a minute. He came back with something different. He wasn't like this yesterday, right? Last time he was, I think he was steamy, and now it looks like he has been shot with many small Cheetos. He seems to have cheeto um -itis -osis. So we can we can probably diagnose that pretty easily, right? Um, take temperature. Okay, so we're gonna take a temperature because Cheetos can make you hot. Can you can you just stop Juan Juan Lee? Can you can you do a job or something? You're just chatting. Actually, that is the orderly's job. We were there. I won't blame it on him. Give him your duck joke there, Kevin. There we go. So check patient's ears. Okay, so we're just gonna check everything. We're already done for the day. We're just trying to save the president here. Weak diagnosis is now available. Oh, that's really cool. So the more things I do, the more I narrow it down. Right now we can choose between burning belly, itchy plum bob, the llama flu, no illness, or sweaty shivers. No illness is probably not it. Um, yeah, the minimum amount of data is in for Barack Obama. Kevin Sauce can try to diagnose this ailment at an exam bed or run more tests for better diagnosis. Okay, we could probably we could probably do something else, right? Let's do a treadmill test. Oh. All right, Obama, run it out. You're almost there. Hitting the peak, hitting the valley. The results of the treadmill test are inconclusive. God damn it. Okay, so I guess we can check a patient's ears. I don't want to do that. We don't need to do that. Let's um, let's give him an X-ray. Um, possible ailment. Okay, so we're narrowing it down. Do we have do we have a better a better idea now? Compelling diagnosis: either llama flu or the sweaty shivers. I don't know. I, I have no, it's a 50-50 chance. I think we've seen the sweaty shivers before and we haven't seen the, um, oh God, the Cheeto rashes are gone. We're gonna go with the llama flu because, because screw it, 50-50 chance, right? Uh, doesn't appear to have any, oh no, did we kill the president? Whoops. Kevin, now is not a time to feel good about that, oh boy, um, well then, so I guess he is just gonna sleep there for the rest of the day. Maybe we weren't wrong. You know what, maybe he'll feel better in the morning. We we put him under and we're gonna call him tonight to see if he's okay. Um, what? What? Barack Obama, congratulations on getting that big promotion at work. You deserve it. What? 
Kevin, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to call Barack. Oh, Barack is already nearby. Okay. So... Yeah! I'll pretend like I know exactly what's going on right now. Did we kill Barack Obama's stunt double? Because I'd feel like an asshole for doing that. Oh, oh, Kevin, he's getting up, he's getting up. We can question him now. And uh, he's better now? Or are you feeling better, Mr. No, Mr. President, Mr. President. I don't know, is he the real president? Freeze him, Kevin. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, Mr. Imposter. Freeze, where do you think you're going? Kevin, you're supposed to be chasing him. Why are you in front? I don't think that's that's how you chase somebody. Oh, he disappeared. Something, something's going on. Something's weird with Obama. I don't know what it is, but we, we gave him the wrong vaccine and he didn't die and he didn't get autism, so clearly something must be wrong. And he texted us while he was knocked out. And he disappeared. Mitch. Hmm, <laughs> mysteries afoot. Yeah, by the way, that was a joke. If you actually think the vaccines cause autism, you're an idiot. I'm sorry. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that this person is all right. Our day's done. In reality, we can go home. We've we've already done a lot. We've uncovered some national security issues. We've saved some people. I have a feeling we're probably gonna get a promotion. Yeah, all right, promoted to RN. Kevin is promoted to RN. What does RN stand for? I'm gonna have to look that up. I can't... Re oh, maybe it's like something nurse? <laughs> yeah, like maybe maybe it's like head nurse, something like that. Kevin's promoted to RN. He will now make an additional $27 an hour for a grand total of $95 an hour. He will also receive Doctor of Medicine Diploma. Kevin, you have a freaking diploma. Can now de determine baby I gender. Whoa, so whoa, so. whoa, 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 what? whoa, whoa. Hold up, hold the horses. Okay, Juan, I know, thank you. Really? Would like to come over and hang out? No, stop calling my wife. We're gonna have to deal with that at some point, but what did that say? Can now determine baby gender on pregnant Sims. Kevin, are you, oh, you did a good job there. Are you actually gonna be able to like deliver babies and have surgeries and stuff like that? I guess he's technically still not a doctor. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna leave this episode of The Life of Kevin here, guys. I think I want to do one more Doctor Career episode because I've been recording for like an hour and a half. There was so much to do in this career. It's awesome. I love having this much content. Fire, fire, what, where, what, Barbie, why? Barbie, get in the pool. This is we have. This is why we have a pool. This is literally the only reason we have a pool. Can everybody get out of the burning woman's way? We have never swim in this pool unless we're on fire. Maybe you could do a little dive, that'd be great. No, okay, as long as you're alive. Kevin, Kevin, extinguish. Kevin, Kevin, okay, you know what? Let's just watch it. It's outside, nobody's on fire yet. Let's just all point, point, and look at it, dance around. It's okay, yeah, run away, why not? Who cares? It's only our barbecue. We only are gonna go pour. There you go, step up, Kevin. You have the extinguishing ray. And it's out, and we can all calm down and enjoy the fruits of Barbie's labor, because <laughs> god up. damn it. Oh good, the insurance company gave us $600 to replace our $1,300 barbecue. Fantastic, yeah, that is gonna be it for this episode of the Life of Kevin, guys. Like, I'm pretty sure I tried to say before fire broke out. God, this game, man. I do want to do another episode of the Doctor's Career because there's so much to do. I love having this much content, this much new stuff. So next episode, Kevin is going to go the whole way with the career. He's going to become a doctor. He's going to do surgeries and I guess baby stuff and whatever else is in this. But before we ended the episode, I just wanted to talk a little bit about last episode because people have been asking about the likes or commenting on the fact that we actually did meet the milestone, which I'm still blown away by. At the end of the last episode, I said if I could get a thousand likes, I would make another episode of The Life of Kevin awesome. early. And I didn't really expect that to happen, or if I did, I didn't expect it to happen until the end of the week. I only have three videos on the channel. Three videos in the history of my time on YouTube that have more than a thousand likes. And you guys gave that video a thousand likes in like an evening, which is just crazy. So thank you guys so much for that. I wish every video could be like that. I, I hope that you guys continue to support every video like that. And some people had asked why. Some people thought, you know, YouTubers get paid for the amount of likes that they get. And I'm just being greedy, but that, that's not the case. The only thing that a like does for a video is tell YouTube that you enjoy that video. 
That is it. It tells YouTube that this is a good video, that other people would enjoy it, and it helps YouTube promote my videos. So it'll show more people the life of Kevin, and then more people will enjoy it. So be sure to leave a like on any video that you enjoy, and that'll help other people find it. It helps the channel grow, it helps the series continue, and I'm not going to ask for anything this episode. You know what? I'm not going to do that often. I just wanted to make an extra episode, and I thought that I would put a challenge out there for you guys. But next time, I will not underestimate you guys again. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Okay, the chickens are coming. Oh my god, so many chickens. I don't know why I call them chickens. Chickens can't fly. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Come on. Oh, the shields, the shields are down, Captain! Hold it together, hold it together, hold it together! Yes! <laughs>